Studio is my number one product from 10 of my favorite drugstore brands. I'm bringing all those to you so that you can see some fantastic products. Let's get into the video right now. Oh, my friends, this is going to be so much fun. We are going to be talking about the number one product in each of these brands that I love so very much. But before we do that, we always talk about what I have on and different things. So if you want to skip ahead to where I just talk about those 10 different brands and the great products that they have, I'll put a timestamp right here so that you can skip ahead and you don't have to watch any of the intro at all. So go ahead and do that now. We're going to talk about what I have on. Today, I have on a ribbed knit sweater which is burgundy crossover sweater has three little cute buttons on this side and it is kind of a fake wraparound one I did have to pin it today for modesty <laughs> and it is just so comfortable and but it's so cute too and then the ruching in the front that it creates with the wraparound really helps disguise the tummy a little bit and then I have on two different silver link necklaces these are just two necklaces that I bought separately put them together and this bottom chain chain has kind of a little texture detail so it's actually a double chain together really like these put together I just thought it was kind of a cute look and then the earrings that I have on are hoop earrings that are a hollow earring so they're super light they almost feel like they could be acrylic they're so light but they're not they are metal and I have these in rose gold and gold and the silver and I have them in all different uh, all different sizes and I just love them because of how light and they don't tug on my ears so I really like that all the fingernail polish any makeup that I do have on anything like that will all be listed and linked below and, and now we talk about my linking system is where I put a number up on the screen that corresponds to whatever product that I'm holding up at that moment. You don't have to remember anything about that product. You just remember that you liked number three. Then go down into the description box, find number three on the list, one to however many we get to today. Next to it will be all of the information about the product, if there was a color or anything like that, and there will be a link to that product. And those are affiliate links, and I appreciate you helping out my channel by using those so very much. So that is the introduction. Let's get into the 10 brands with their number one product that I chose that I love the most. All right, you guys were so loving and understanding about a video I had a little while ago where I just showed you products that I didn't really show you try-ons. Well, that's this video. I probably should have tried these on and done like a cutaway for you guys, but I just, there's some days when I just don't feel up to snuff. So today's one of those days and you're getting product and you're getting fantastic products, but you're not necessarily getting to see me try them on. So that being said, number one is Catrice as a brand. I love this brand. I was so heartbroken when they quit selling it at Ulta. I really felt like Ulta missed the mark, but I understand why Catrice did it because if they just sell themselves, it's easier than going through a third party merchant. They lose a lot of their profits and they are on Amazon. You can still get them on Amazon and their own website. But my number one product from Catrice has to be their True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I adore this foundation. If you you have combination to dry skin, you're going to love this. If you have dry skin, you're going to adore this. It is such a good foundation. It has beautiful coverage without looking like foundation, without looking like makeup. It just looks like skin and it is very buildable. I find that if I need extra coverage around my dark spots or redness or anything like that, it looks very pretty. I personally don't ever have any settling into fine lines or wrinkles or anything. No break apart. It lasts all day long. This has been one of my favorites since it came out probably two or three years ago as well. Just a beautiful foundation that I feel like any woman can wear, but a mature woman that needs some extra hydration, this is fantastic for. And by the way, I will tell you that this was a stinking hard video to do because do you know how hard it is to go through drugstore and only pick out one product that you like the most? That's really, really hard to do because some of these companies have such good products and you're gonna know what I'm talking about when I talk about all of them. Number two is Milani. Milani has had my heart forever. I feel like they are a luxury high-end brand wrapped in a drugstore price and I just love everything that they do. 
what I chose to put in here was their silky matte bronzers. These are phenomenal powders for either contouring or bronzing, whatever color you choose. This one happens to be sunkissed, and I did use this in my hairline and to really carve out different places because it's just this really pretty neutral toned bronzer. It's not really exactly very very cool tone however it's more cool tone than any of the other ones that they have and it also has that gorgeous ability to be both my bronzer and my contour which i love so very much i have used this for such a long time and i have never hit pan on it i keep using it and keep thinking i'm gonna eventually hit pan but it hasn't yet so this is my number one product because this is the product that i reach for the most out of their line it is just a phenomenal bronzer as far as the powder goes it lasts all day on me and it looks beautiful it's never patchy as i'm working it into the skin and i just really enjoy working with it every time i pull it out i'm like this is why i love more number three is flower beauty and again this is another company that i love what they do now i have had a little hiccup with them recently Recently. It seems like their products are just missing something a little bit lately, but their staple core products in their line are phenomenal. And I absolutely had to pick the Petal Pout lipsticks, the bullet ones. They are just an amazing formula. These are phenomenal lipsticks. They have a great range of colors. I do love their texture in here. This one is called Naked Blush. This is probably my perfect nude lipstick because it has just enough pink in it to not pull coral and it is so very pretty i will put on just about any lip liner and if i pop that on top of it it's going to match and it's going to be beautiful from browns to burgundies to plums to pinks it doesn't really matter what i put on for a lip liner this lipstick is going to go well with it this other lipstick that i have is my dramatic i feel like the boss today lipstick this is called dahlia desire and every time i wear this on camera you guys all absolutely go gaga for it it's one of those colors that you could put on your lips and you just you do you feel confident you feel like a boss it's really really pretty and you know what i don't mind popping that on a bit for you it's just one of those colors that you feel very confident wearing and you feel very bold wearing. This formula, I kid you not, is one of the most luxurious formulas. I think that they could have packaged this and sold it for a MAC lipstick and it's still been selling at 20 whatever dollars for a tube because it's that good. However, we get the benefit of it because it's not that much and Flower Beauty knocked it out of the park with these lipsticks. Elf is the next drugstore company that I put in here. And I do have to say that I really have enjoyed since Elf started their putty line where they had the putty primer and then they went into the blush and the bronzer. I've really enjoyed that line. I love the fact that there are cream products and that they are, they just really do perform really well and they last a long time. But when they came out with their new luminous putty blushes, I lost my marbles because these are so pretty and so beautiful on anybody's skin. They give the most beautiful glow and yeah, I absolutely love them. So let me see if I can figure out what these are called because that's going to be the hard part. First of all, this one is called Maui. Now Maui is Maui. Maui is... You're an idiot, Melissa. It's this soft, soft pink color, but it can be built up and it just has, again, that little tiny property of luminosity. And especially when you put it across your cheeks and you get, you know, turn your head, it just makes you glow. It's just so pretty, but it's muted and it's just absolutely gorgeous. The next one I have is called Bermuda. It is a cross, kind of like a, I would say it's like a peachy pink. This one's a bit more vibrant and I love this one. In the summer, I wore this one so, so much. Absolutely love that. These blushes are so creamy. I think they're even more creamy than the original putty formula, but the colors on them, I just really seriously went gaga for. And the last one I have is St. Bart's and it is the most saturated one that I do have. Just a very beautiful, like very, oops accidentally got my fingernail in there. It's just a very beautiful berry color and 
just so pretty. You can see how saturated they are and how easily they're going across my skin. When I first ordered these blushes, I only ordered one. I was so excited about it. I went got back and got three or four more colors, but these are the three I kept that worked the best with my skin tone. So I think you're going to absolutely love the luminous blushes if you haven't gotten them already from Elf. All right, let's talk a little color pop. Color pop since the very beginning has been one of my very favorite companies. Now it can be argued that they're not necessarily a drugstore company, but they are on the drugstore side of Ulta. So if you are at Ulta, you can go in and get the any of these in store. This first one is their Super Shock Highlighters. I love their shadows. That was what made me fall in love with the company itself. But the highlighters and the blushes are beyond amazing. You can sheer these out and make them just look like just as a beautiful soft candlelit glow or you can just make them look like disco ball gleam and they're beautiful this one is spellbound and spellbound is a dual chrome icy color that shifts between pink and purple and peach and yellow and i'm telling you as i am looking at it even right there it is intensely gorgeous i can even use this on my eyelids but i can put this on and i just when i catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror as i'm going to the bathroom i'm like oh that's pretty what did i put on and it'll be spellbound every time it's just so different next one is called stole the show stole the show is just kind of this it's kind of a creamy white almost a champagne-y looking color. This one right here, you can really make it look very beaming and glowy, or you can share it out. This is probably the easiest one to share out that I do have because it can be just a really, really soft, soft glow if you want it to be. So Stole the Show is very pretty, very icy looking. I really like that one. And then my all-time favorite ever is Flexitarian. And that's because it's so versatile. I feel like no matter whether you're cool tone, warm tone, in between, light, darker color, flexitarian could work for you. This is a true champagne and anybody that wants to try this color, wear it underneath your blush. It's going to be the most beautiful, gorgeous color that shines through your blush. It's just a soft, beautiful champagne-y color so gorgeous now they do have tons of colors if you're very deep skin you can get into those colors that are a little bit darker the more warm tone colors i do know that they have a few that are brighter pink they're just they just have a really beautiful range of colors and this formula is phenomenal it's one of those that is kind of a cream to powder formula i actually have to keep myself from reaching for it because it's one that i want to reach for every time as the highlighter that i wear but i have to try other things so Definitely from ColourPop, their Super Shock highlighters are number one. Next is Rimmel. Again, when Rimmel quit being in most of the drugstores, I was really sad. And when they went out of Walmart, I was just like really bummed out. But their lip liners are something so very special. This one is the Lasting Finish Exaggerate Automatic Lip Liner. This is East End Snob and I love this. It's so pretty. This is a very mauve pinky color. All of these are going to be pinks, as you guys already knew before I even start swatching. The next one is called Addiction, and I love this formula. The formula is very creamy. It goes on very easily. It blends very well with any lipstick that you use it with, and they have so many colors that you can try, and they stay on a long time. I mean, there's nothing really I can say bad about them. I do like that they're an automatic liner, and I do like that it's got a slant to it. This one is called Innocent, and this one is the their nude. This is probably the most light one that they have, the lightest one that they have, the most light that they have. And then the last one that I have is called Enchantment. And Enchantment is probably my very favorite one that I have that I wear all the time because I love to wear Enchantment and I'm going way outside of the lines here. I love to wear enchantment with a nude lipstick. It just looks so pretty together. And I really do like a lot of products from Rimmel, but as soon as I thought about doing this video, I thought Rimmel's lip liners. Again, I feel like they're just a fantastic lip liner that could be packaged as a high-end product and sold as a high-end product, but we get to keep the savings because it's not. So these are really good and I think you're gonna love them. Next is Maybelline. This one was the hardest for me to do. I think I'm gonna have to do another video because there's way too many of these out there that are so good in each of these companies' lines. But the other thing is that I couldn't put all of the companies that I really love in here either. So this is from Maybelline and I had to pick the Sky High Mascara. I adore this mascara. I 
really love the wand it is a silicone wand not a regular bristle brush it just lengthens and grabs every single hair i have and boy does it make each individual hair stand out and it gives great volume I have nothing bad to say about this. Now, I did have somebody recently tell me that this was really hard to get off. I don't find that. I find that at night, I just use my oil or my balm and it comes right off. I do know that if you get the, the waterproof one, that it's a bugger to get off. But if you're needing a special event to go to and you need one that's gonna stay there all day, like you're at a ball fest, you're at your granddaughter's wedding or your daughter's wedding or whatever, you get the waterproof you're gonna love it because it's gonna stay there all day but this one is my everyday mascara that i just love wearing because it's so easy inexpensive but it acts again like a luxury mascara i just love this so much nyx cosmetics has been around for such a long time but they are one of those brands that always stays on top of things and they really do a great job of finding what's trendy but keeping it real i feel like too there's times when they go kind of outside the box and there's something that they come up with and I'll go, uh, not for me, but on the whole, I do love NYX products. Now, what was my number one pick from them? It had to be the butter glosses. These have been around forever. They come in a million different shades. So no matter which one you're cho you choose, you're going to find one that you love. But I can hands down tell you that my very favorite is tiramisu. I I've loved this for such a long time. And I am going to put it on top of this lipstick so that you can see. These are my favorite opaque lip glosses at the drugstore. And the reason that I love them is because you get that color, but you don't have to compromise whether you want a gloss or whether you want a lipstick. I love these. I absolutely love them. And like I said, I have a ton of colors. These are just a few of the colors that I have. It comes in something like 40 plus colors. So you're going to be able to find what you want in a color when you look at these. Love these lip glosses. The next brand is Revlon. And we all know Revlon's had their problems this year, but I sure hope they stick around. Revlon has been around since I believe the turn of the 20th century. It was just one of those brands that really brought makeup to the forefront. They developed their very famous Cherries in the Snow lipstick. They had a fingernail polish that was the same color. That's how they started out was fingernail polish, which is a great fun fact of our history in cosmetics. But I had to choose their Color Stay Foundation this is such great makeup. This is, to me, an exact dupe for Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I feel like it's every bit as good, if not better, personally, because you have the normal to dry formula or you have the combo to oily formula. And I got the normal to dry. My color is 200 nude. This covers like a dream. It's full coverage without looking cakey, without looking like you've got too much foundation on. This has been around for years and years as well. They just recently put a, a few more skin loving ingredients in it and reformulated it. I haven't picked those up yet to try, but I do know that this is so many people's long time love for foundation because it just works. It just never looks cakey. It never looks heavy. I don't have it settle into fine lines. It never looks modeled. At the end of the day, I can look in the mirror and say, my makeup looks pretty darn good because I've worn this. It's just a beautiful foundation. And I think if you haven't tried it, try it. It lives up to being a high-end foundation in a little bitty drugstore bottle. Lastly is L'Oreal. L'Oreal is also a brand that's been around forever. And L'Oreal as a parent company owns tons and tons and tons of different cosmetic companies if you saw their docket of who they have under them as a parent company you would be shocked the number one product though that i chose from them has been discontinued in their line for a while however you can still find it in a lot of different places and i absolutely adore their infallible single shadows that are like this these are some of the most beautiful shadows I've ever used. When you get these, they have a little stopper in them. So they're not really a truly pressed powder or pressed shadow. They're almost a loose powder that they keep in there pressed by this. This one itself, I better get my glasses for this. This one I believe is called Golden Sage. This is the color that made me, yes, uh, this is the color that made me fall in love with these. And you're going to just absolutely love this when you see this on my hand look at that can you believe how beautiful that color is i'm going to put this stopper in so i don't lose any this is just intense gorgeous glow 
it's a metallic that is not over the top so they're very wearable i absolutely love the formula very silky very easy to wear the next one is called midnight blue and again there's your stopper and look at how beautiful that color is oh my goodness but they can very easily be washed out too so you don't have to wear them as intense as i'm swatching them the next one is called liquid diamonds and this one I've, I've worn on my eyelids so many times and I get asked every single time what I'm wearing. And I wear it as with some grays and as a smoky look and it's just so pretty. The next one is called Endless Sea. Isn't that a beautiful turquoise? Oh my gosh, I just absolutely love these shadows. They are so special and you cannot beat those when you're looking at anything high end. I don't talk to me about Natasha Jadona or Pat McGrath or any of them. This is a beautiful, beautiful shadow formula. I wish that they would come out with these again, maybe as stackables or maybe they could come out with smaller singles or something, but man, they can't be beat. They're just so gorgeous. This one right here, which is called Timeless Blue Spark, I'm trying so hard not to spill these and they're not cooperating very much with me. <laughs> Timeless Blue Spark is that one. And then the last one that I have is called Perpetual Purple and it is a beautiful purple. It's not a really metallic purple or a really super vibrant purple, but if you want a liner for this or you want to use that to darken up your outer V, so beautiful. So there they all are. They have tons of these colors too, but I'll link all of these that I have. Hopefully they will all still be in stock and that you, I can link them for you, but they're so pretty. They need to bring them back. They need to bring them back. I wish they would. We all need to write in and tell the CEO of the company that Mo Mrs. Melissa M says, please bring back the infallible loose shadows. They're so gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being with me. This, like I said, was a hard video for me to do. We're probably going to have a part two and we'll have all kinds of fun again. Tell me down in the description box from any of these companies that I just talked about, the 10 ones that I just talked about, please tell me what your favorite product from any of them are. I would love to hear that and try it. If it's a different product that I haven't tried before, I would love to do that too. Thanks guys so much for being here with me. I love you to pieces. Come back around real soon and we will talk and have all kinds of fun. Goodbye, my friends.